and welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. And I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Carol Heiberger, founder and author of ExecuSpeak Dictionary. Carol, welcome to the Hi, show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Oh, my pleasure. You know, we had the opportunity to um, interact together through mm -hmm. internet radio, and it's just really cool to see you live. Yes, it's good so, to meet you real time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know a little bit about what you do, mm -hmm. and I thought you've really got a great story. Thank you. So I wanted to help share it. First of all, mm -hmm. I think a question that many of the audience might have is, what is ExecuSpeak Dictionary, and how did you come up with this concept? Why you, why now? Okay. Mm -hmm. ExecuSpeak Dictionary is a collection of tools mm -hmm. that are designed to make it easier for adults to learn the lingo and the language of their workplace. Mm, the lingo and language of their workplace. Exactly. So does that mean that there are certain workplaces that you have decoded or translated? Well, every industry, every company, every project has its own language. Mm -hmm. And while we recognize expertise when people are using certain words on certain subjects, mm -hmm. and we recognize who is a part of the group, or who's mm -hmm. a part of the crowd, or who's a part of the industry by the words that they use, mm -hmm. we all need to learn those words as we move around in life. So new employees need to learn the work and language of their workplace. Uh, people who are trying to change industries make a very specific effort in order to learn the lingo of their new industry in order to be able to communicate um, effectively, uh, be able to translate their skills and capabilities in order to move from one industry to another. Mm -hmm. And every time we learn a new skill or learn a new market, we have to learn a whole new vocabulary, and it's hard. It's hard. Very powerful. So the concept of a dictionary. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in your personal life that led to you saying, this is important, this is going to be my entrepreneurial journey? Mostly it was a moment that said, I can do this. Ah, I love those moments. Tell right. me more. I had Tell that moment. I was working and doing some teaching with computer literacy mm -hmm. when I realized that not only do we all have a computer in our pocket, mm -hmm. but that the, the smartphone was the computer that was in the pocket of every segment of society. And so while I was in a, uh, a program teaching computer literacy in the healthcare industry, I realized that the doctor has a smartphone, the mm -hmm. nurse, the nurse's aide, environmental services, the people who are delivering food, and they're all about to put codes into my electronic health record. Yes. And I'm sitting there during this class, during a break in the class, and going, oh my God, I hope all these people remember the correct codes to put into mm -hmm. my health record, mm -hmm. and wondering how do they remember. Hmm. So that was, the, that was the first moment. And then as I started doing homework on the concept and the market and the, the capacity and capabilities, I realized that I could put very subject-specific, place-specific glossaries in people's pockets. Google does not give you the answer when you're trying to figure out what they mean when they said, go to the CDL. Oh, okay. You right? can say, because what is a CDL? You can go into Google and go CDL, CDL and they're saying, well, what right. kind of CDL are you talking about? And you're right. thinking, I need to know that right this minute because I need to get there now. <laughs> right. right, okay. And somebody just started using acronyms for places because mm -hmm. they're so used to mm -hmm. using acronyms. And sometimes you can interrupt, but sometimes you can't. Mm -hmm. If you're in the middle of a program where you're in the audience and it's not a dialogue, you can't interrupt but someone might have used a term or a word that you don't get. And back in the old days, you would just lean over to the person next to you and you would say, what is that? And they would give you a really short, and you would go, oh, okay. And now you're back in mm -hmm. to the program, you're into the conversation, sure, you're, you're sure. into the learning process. But now, 
maybe you can't do that or people don't do that or they lean down and they just start Googling mm -hmm. and then they've completely lost mm -hmm. what it is they were listening to because they were scrolling right. through Google to find the appropriate contextually correct meaning. Now, excellent example. Do you have something to show us? Well, I could, could because yeah, I actually yeah, had yeah. to write the initial <laughs> ExecuSpeak dictionary because explaining the concept has taken me years to get here. You explained it very well. Thank you. So, yeah. but back in the beginning, I couldn't. Okay. And I had to demonstrate it and I had to do it in order to show it. Mhm. Mm as the daughter of an English teacher. Ah, the pressure. With, no, no, it's because I understood that writing is so important. Mm -hmm. My parents started editing my work when I was six years old. Ooh, wow. So I was always able, I always, even in college, I would get back papers going very succinct, clear to the point. So I realized that as a working person, that was actually one of my secret weapons, mm -hmm. my ability to write. Mm -hmm. And then the language of business, I was able to go after the language of business. I got my MBA from Wharton when I was 23. Wow, so when congratulations. I think, so when I think about this kind mm -hmm. of language, I have mm -hmm. been using it for such a long time. Mm -hmm. And in order to be able to write things clearly, so that someone else can understand, you have to be a real subject matter expert. Mm -hmm. And when you look at glossaries online, some of them are simply incomprehensible. Mm. Okay. You can look up terms okay. that you know, and you have no idea what they mean, and you say, I know what that means, but I'm reading those 20 words online and I haven't got a clue. Mm -hmm. And if you are looking for a glossary in order to help you out, they're giving you a thousand and one marketing terms. Nobody needs a thousand and one. Okay. They're organized in a different form of uh, subject. So it may be um, all the terms you need associated with, oh, I don't know, uh, mechanical engineering. And you're going, mm -hmm. I only need one term. Mm -hmm. And then, if you want that one term, how do you find it online? Because mm -hmm. it's not where you want it to be. When I spoke to training and development people and I say, do you give uh, your students glossaries? Mm -hmm. They went, yes. And I said, how? And they said, well, we give them a PDF file. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Well, it's not searchable. You right. can't find it when you're looking you for it. Right. Last time you had a PDF file with words on it, where mm -hmm. was it? Mm -hmm. That's not where you want it to right. be. Where right. you want it to be is in your pocket. In your pocket. Ah, that sounds like a lead-in. So, in the pocket. In the pocket. You may have to turn the phone on. Okay. All right. So, so ExecuSpeak right Dictionary here. is mm -hmm. an app with a companion ebook. See if that works. Mm -hmm. Not working. Mm -hmm. And actually a physical book. Ah, so three products. The app, the ebook, and a physical book. Because I doesn't mm -hmm. different people learn in different ways. Mm -hmm. Some people like to flip through a book. Mm -hmm. I had people saying to me, well, it doesn't need to be a physical book, just make it an app. Mm -hmm. And I went, yeah, but some people like physical books. Right. Why right. should I decide? Mm -hmm. All right, remember, Excellent. I'm the daughter of an English teacher. Mm -hmm. She didn't care what people read. She didn't care what her students read mm -hmm. as long as they were reading. Mm -hmm. You can teach yourself what you need to know. Mm -hmm. So why do I care which technology? Mm -hmm. Now, part of my background is telecommunications. And so as a result of working for the phone company, we would be vendor independent mm. and technology agnostic. Okay. Okay. Because whatever technology we're looking at today, meaning the apps, mm -hmm. okay, is not necessarily what it's going to look like tomorrow. Absolutely. But okay. the content is what's important. Right. It's transferable. Transferable. Okay. Excellent. So the print is large. Mm -hmm. See if we can see that. Right. I'm not okay. sure. Mm -hmm. Because I expect that English is the second language, people. Mm. Um, we'll be looking at these words. And mm -hmm. so I wanted it to have a lot of white space and big print. So someone who's opening this up for the first time, the first thing they can do is say, oh, okay, this is English. Mm -hmm. And their brain can adapt. Okay. okay. And then they can clearly see that it's term, definition, and usage. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Powerful. So you've created mm -hmm. this series of products. Mm -hmm. um, who uses them and what are some really significant results that you've experienced? Well, as of now, the apps have been downloaded in 94 countries. Mm -hmm. Nice. Right. I've had different organizations purchase in bulk mm -hmm. as awards or gifts for student achievement. Oh, okay. I've had different Great. people use it as a way of uh, uh, getting comfortable and teaching themselves mm. different kinds of business language and, and lingo. Mm -hmm. um, I did three editions. We have a Real Estate USA edition. Mm -hmm. uh, I took the Philadelphia Zoning Code. I oh my goodness, now that's ambitious. It's legal language. <laughs> okay. So okay. I want to prove that it could be done on any subject. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm on my community zoning committee. And so one of, the, oh, watch one out. of, my, okay. one of my fellow uh, zoning committee members kind of dared me okay. to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have the original. And the goal was to be able to say, I've got the processes organized. I can do this for anybody. Wow. That's an accomplishment. That's okay. the goal. Okay. Okay. So Excellent. then the next set was how do I do it mm -hmm. for anybody? And so now we have software mm -hmm. that can read any collection of electronic documents. Mm. So let's say, for example, you are a bank and you are bringing a thousand new employees on board in the mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm and you're sending them all through training programs. Mm -hmm. And you know you're going to have to train them again and again right. and again. Compliance training or something well, like that. Well, I'm thinking in terms of actual face-to-face, -face, get your job done training, okay. not just okay. compliance. Okay. Okay. And part of the challenge is that whatever it is you learned in January, mm -hmm. you've forgotten half of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by June when you need it. Right. right. But what if what you learned was in your pocket? Right. Through an app? Through the app, through the words. Mm -hmm. Because you just really need to refresh your memory. Powerful. Okay. Powerful. Part of the challenge in corporate training, actually in any form of training, is the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, mm -hmm. which is the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. Without reinforcement, you will forget 42% of what you've heard within mm -hmm one hour. I thought it was a very short period of time. 42% within one hour. Exactly. Wow. Okay. And if, it's, if learning is not reinforced, you will remember 21% after the end of 30 days. Wow. It's almost as if the training didn't happen. Almost so. as if the training mm -hmm. didn't happen. But People need to hear the language again and again. Mm -hmm. They need to use it. They need to be reinforced. You need 7 to 20 repetitions of mm. a new word or phrase to make it your own. And then you have, have to sleep on it. But okay. That and is you nice. must sleep on it. So mm -hmm. reading a single flashcard 20 mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. does not count as 20 repetitions. Mm -hmm. That's one repetition 20 times. Okay. There's a difference. Oh, this is almost like ex exercise. <laughs> it's almost like exercise, but it's easier. Because a lot of times yeah. people learn the lingo and the language of their right. workplace simply by being there and hear people right. talking and they're asking questions. Mm -hmm. And they always think they're taking, it's taking longer than they want it to mm -hmm. because they don't realize that they actually need, there's actually a formula for how many times you need to hear something. And you need to hear it. You need to read, write, speak and listen. So you need your 7 to 20 repetitions to be variations of reading, writing, speaking, and listening in multiple contexts. Wow, that is powerful. And that right. is a great place for us to end. Okay. I know that people will want to get in touch with you. How Thank can they you. do that? Where should they go? Well, they can just email me at carol at executespeakdictionary.com. Mm -hmm. I've organized a lot of what I've been telling you today into programs. Okay. So that I would be glad to provide that kind of information to organizations that need to understand how their adult employees learn the language and the lingo of their workplace. Wow. Carol, thank you. You're welcome. Execu Speak, Speak Dictionary. Wow. Dot com. Dot com. Ah, okay, that's right. The name Why of the not? product <laughs> and the website. You have it. So, folks, 
Again, a wonderful example of a significant story from a significant entrepreneur. ExecuSpeakDictionary.com. Carol, thank you for You're being welcome. a guest Thank you today. for having me. It's oh, been a gift. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And join us when our next episode of Significant TV.